I think if you follow um, the readings during Holy Week, they encapsulate all of our lives in, in, many, in many ways. And in the readings, um, a good way of following uh, the Holy Week ceremonies and especially following the readings is asking yourself, where do I fit into all this? And you will find, we will, you will find, and I will find many, many examples of where we fit, we fit in. How often we make promises or we, we make statements and we just shoot them from our top of our head or, or from our, our mouth and they mean very little. They mean very little. I will lay down my life for you, said Peter. Totally from the top of his head or right out from his mouth. I will lay down my life for you. And we know that when it demanded courage and when he was called to follow what he said, he failed. How often you and I fail. It is human, it is human to fail. And I was reading somewhere uh, very recently that um, perfection is much less important than repentance. And to the extent, and it happens time and time again, I experience it in my own life, and in, in many people's lives that come to me and talk about what is going on in their lives, that is very often through failure, and particularly sin, and maybe big sin at times, that we come closer to, to God. Because maybe for the first time in our lives, like Peter did later on, that he experienced the sheer, profound mercy of God. The sheer, amazing mercy of God. And I hope in your lives, and even if you have not realized that yet, that you too will come to realize someday the sheer mercy of God. And there is never, never any need to, like Judas, walk out into the, the, the darkness and remain there. We can always come back to Jesus.